Hi, I'm Ms. Hall, and this is Lesson 7, Transformations and Quadratic Functions. We start by writing transformations of quadratic functions. The lowest point on a parabola that opens up, or the highest point on a parabola that opens down, is the vertex. Here's a parabola that opens up with a vertex, the lowest point, and here's a parabola that opens down with a vertex at the highest point. The vertex form of a quadratic function is f of x equals a times x minus h squared plus k, where a is not zero and the vertex is h comma k. This should be review from our transformations lessons in unit one uh, that we have three parameters in our vertex form, the a, h, and k. a indicates a reflection in the x-axis and or a vertical stretch or shrink. Right, a reflection would mean that the a value is negative. A vertical stretch would be if the a value is greater than one, and a vertical shrink would be if a is between zero and one. H indicates a horizontal translation, and K indicates a vertical translation. Let's go right to example one. Describe the transformation of f of x equals x squared, that's the parent function of the quadratic family, represented by g of x equals x plus 4 squared minus 1. You probably already know what it is. Um, I'm just going to, for the sake of practice, I'm going to write this in the form, in vertex form. I'm going to rewrite this equation, g of x, this function, in So our a value here is 1. Uh, there is no reflection, there is no vertical stretch or shrink. Our h value is negative 4, right, because x minus negative 4 is x plus 4. So h equals negative 4, which indicates a horizontal translation for units left. And our k value is negative 1. k equals negative 1, which indicates a vertical translation one unit down. Um, I will just finish up by writing that a equals 1, which means there is no reflection, there is no vertical stretch or shrink, and you don't need to write that down. Um, there is also the graph provided, and you can see the translation four units to the left and one unit down. Example two, describe the transformation of f of x equals x squared represented by g. Again, I'm gonna rewrite these g of x uh, functions in vertex form. You don't need to do this. You can probably just write the transformations that happen because we've done enough transformation practice. <clears throat> so negative one half is my a value. A equals negative one half. The negative means that there has been a reflection in the, oh wait, in the x-axis. And the one half means it's been, there has also been a vertical shrink by a factor of one half. We have zero and we have zero. Okay, I'm not going to talk about the 0h or the 0k. That did not impact 
um, the transformation at all. We did none to the left, none up. In V, we have g of x equals something 2x minus squared plus. You can say I have a 1 there. Nothing up front. I am subtracting nothing. I am adding 1. Okay, so how am I going to deal with that 2? There are two ways to deal with this 2. One is to say that there has been a horizontal horizontal blank by a factor of one half, right? Horizontal stretches and shrinks the factor is one over a. And the green part is that there has been a vertical translation one unit Okay, I pause with horizontal stretches and shrinks because those make me think. And here is what I'm going to do to get out of my thought process is I'm going to actually simplify this 2x squared by squaring both the 2 and the x. And now I get an a value of 4. This is an equivalent function. If my a value is 4, I know it has been a vertical stretch by a factor of 4. So if it's a vertical stretch, it's going to be a horizontal shrink. Okay, so this one, I put the answer as a horizontal shrink by a factor of 1 half. In a vertical translation one unit up. If you simplified it first to the orange function I've written, you could instead say this was a vertical stretch by a factor of four and a vertical translation one unit up. Okay, so you have the option of pairing these two transformations or this one and this one. Either is correct. Example three. Let the graph of G be a vertical stretch by a factor of 2 and a reflection in the x-axis followed by a translation 3 units down of the graph of f of x equals x squared. Write a rule for G and identify the vertex. In unit 1, we, we just use method 2 to answer this problem. And method 2 is perfectly fine. Use your knowledge of transformations to apply the transformations in the order they were listed, and you'll get the right answer. Now that we have this knowledge of vertex form, you could instead use that to end up with the transformed function. Either method will get you the correct answer if done correctly. Okay, so method one, because we haven't seen this before. Identify how the transformation affects the content constants in vertex form. Um, so we have <clears throat> a vertical stretch by a factor of 2, means an a value of 2. A reflection in the x-axis means an a value that is negative. a is negative followed by a translation three units down. That means the k value is negative three. So to recap, I have an a value of negative two, a k value of negative three, and no h value, right? h equals zero, I don't even need to list it. Let's go ahead and write g of x equals negative 2 times x minus 0 squared minus 3. I can rewrite this as g of x equals negative 2x squared minus 3.
I am also supposed to identify the vertex. So vertex form, the vertex is H comma K, and I've listed right here H and K. So the vertex of this parabola is zero comma negative three.